live. Hello, everyone. Uh, Bree E. Anderson here. Super excited to be back for another rendition of ba -ba -da -da, Analytics Friday. I am in a different location now um, for the next two weeks. Um, this week and next week, you will both, well, you will be seeing um, this lovely background. So, um, but it's not what we're we're usually going to see, so no worries about that. Anywho, I hope everyone has had a great week, um, and you know that you've tackled some of your goals for the week. Um, this week we are talking about uh, for our lovely Analytics Friday. We are talking about multi-channel um, funnels or multi-channel attribution or you know whatever whatever we want to call it. Um, specifically in Google Analytics 4, we'll talk about it a little bit um, for Universal Analytics, but it looks a lot different in Google Analytics 4, and I realized that I had never really touched on that um, in any of these videos. So we are going to do that. I'm going to get a couple things um, pulled up on my phone really quickly. Uh, in case you don't know, let's see here. Um, Marketing Merch Store is up and it's live and you can go snag some really cool marketing merch there if I do say so myself. Um, we've got t-shirts, hoodies. I know some people are getting snow now. If you got snow, please let me know in the comments. That's wild. I think where um, I'm usually based got snow and so I'm really happy I'm not there right now. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys got snow. Okay, so like I said, today we are talking about multi-channel attribution. So if you don't know what that means, basically it means that before somebody converts with you, they have visited you um, from one or more places, like visited your website through one or more places. So let's say they um, search like pizza shop near me and they click on an ad and that leads to your pizza sh shop page. That's one channel. Um, but maybe they then go to Facebook and they find you again and they come back to your website and end up ordering with you after looking at your Facebook channel. Well, that's two channels, right? Um, so in Google Analytics, you're actually able to track kind of what those channels are and what that user journey looks like. Because remember, understanding the full user journey is invaluable. You can see what kind of information people are looking for. Um, you can assume if they came to your website organically and then went to social media, like maybe um, they were, pardon me, um, maybe they were looking for some sort of social proof that you just didn't offer in um, like organically to them, right? So in universal analytics, uh, if we went to, well, let's see. Google Analytics has not been very happy with me because I've just been pushing the limits here. Okay. Um, if we go to conversions, multi-channel funnels, this is where we're going to see all of our, um, this is where we see all of the different funnels. So we have um, assisted conversions here, which this just tells you um, by channel by default um how many assisted conversions each channel led uh, or contributed to and then how many direct conversions it led to so for instance direct um had 3900 direct conversions which means somebody just came directly from direct um and converted but it also assisted in 2100 other conversions, uh, which means there were multiple steps in that process. Um, if you don't like to lo look by channel, which most people don't, you can look by source medium. This is generally what I'm looking at. Um, and you'll see like Google cost per click. So this is another really good example. You might think that the ads for this, um, this account only led to like $1,500 
in conversions. Well, what if you spent $1,500 on ads? You're not seeing a, a return on investment there. Well, it also assisted in another $1,500 worth of conversions, um, which means it is still valuable. You're still making a return on an, on that investment. So um, something to consider here, it will show you the difference between assisted uh, and direct conversions. Um, you can also, if, if you want to look by campaigns, um, what have you, uh, you can see all of that here. Now, I did not mean to do that. Um, another view that I see people use a lot is this top conversion paths. So you can see these are all by default, it's showing you all conversions that had two or more, um, visits along with them. And so here you can see it's direct times two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, what have you. If you want to see all conversions, you would just toggle up here and select all. And you can see that the majority of them come um direct once and then from there twice three times four times five times and then paid search once and so on and so forth um and again you can do this by uh source medium if you would like or any other way you can see the time lag so how much time between the first visit and conversion how much time is in between those two things and you know, it looks like the majority of people for this site are going to um, convert within the same day if they're going to convert. But then we can see, you know, kind of how, you know, 3% will convert on the next day and then so on and so forth. You can see um, path length, and this is based on interaction. So like sessions, right? Um, so we know that 50 some odd percent converted on the first day, but it looks like only 47% of people convert on that first interaction. Most, you know, some of those people are having a second interaction with the website. Uh, and then there's a model comparison tool. So attribution is something that rolled out, I would say these multi-channel attribution tools rolled out See, I was at the agency the second time. So that would have been around 2017 ish. Um, and here you can pick like which attribution models you want to compare. Um, and you can look at set the look back window you know, so on and so forth. Then they had this um, attribution tool in beta um, where, you know, you could see, it's essentially the same thing, uh, prettier uh, and I suppose easier to navigate. So they've had this in beta for a long time. So fast forward to October of 2020 and we get Google Analytics 4. And at first glance, uh, you might think that they got rid of all of this attribution, multi-channel attribution, uh, because it doesn't live under monetization where in universal analytics it lived under conversion. So in theory, it would make sense for it to live under monetization here. However, that's not the case. In Google Analytics 4, um, you could look at it and explore if you wanted to, um, but then you have to build it out and you have to have separate views for everything. And it's just kind of annoying and a mess. It actually lives under advertising. Not sure why, because it reports all of your channels, regardless of whether they're paid or not. Um, so yeah, really, really not sure why it's here and why they call it ad uh, advertising as opposed to attribution. Um, but alas, here we are. So this is your snapshot, just like all of the reports and views in uh, Google Analytics 4. You get the snapshot. So this is conversions by um, channel, your insights, um, your conversion paths. So again, this is very much the, okay, if there was um, one channel that they visited or multiple channels that they visited, that's what those paths are. And then you can do the comparison of attribution models here 
uh, right in this snapshot. But those are really the, the two big views that we're getting in Google Analytics for is that model comparison and the conversion paths. So you can see here that you have um, organic search. So this again is channel. It's a lot easier to change though from channel. Just hit that drop down. We've got source medium here. So we can see uh, organic Google um, and revenue from last click was 113,000 and revenue from cross channel was um, 111,000. And let's see. Oh, okay. And so you can change those here too. So like first click compared to last click, you can see that that drops a bit. So really interesting. And like I said, it's, it's far almost more intuitive with Google Analytics 4 than it was the Universal Analytics, um, other than the fact that they snuck it under this an, uh, advertising um, name. That doesn't really make a ton of sense, but it's Google. They don't have to make sense. Um, I've actually, something I've not tried here is, oh, okay, so this is just certain users. Okay, so you can't customize this report. See, in the reports section, you can customize all the reports. It looks like an advertising, that is not an option. Um, and then in conversion paths, again, you're going to see that um, this like visual of it, right? So um, organic times two, organic times three, what have you, you can always, um, this is this is all conversion paths. So it doesn't default to the two or more. Um, but this does default to last click model. If you want to see like a linear, um, you can just toggle it to linear. And again, we're gonna change this to, maybe this time we'll do just source. And um, you'll see here. So early touch points, mid touch points, uh, and late touch points. So that's this is kind of interesting. Um, and you know, you can, like I said, I don't know. I mean, I think this is more intuitive. Um, the only thing that isn't as intuitive, actually, now that I'm thinking about it is um the path length so like how many days let's see advertising snapshot i thought that there was a way to see how long in between conversion paths i really thought there was a way let's see Path length equals all touch points. I'm trying to think of like the time. Oh, days to conversion. Duh, it is. It is right here. Um, so we see our days to conversion. So right away. Um, so if they're going to go through organic twice, it looks like their days to conversion is almost four and a half days. Interesting. Two and a half days, they do a conversion three times or organic three times. Touch points to conversion um, and then revenue. So, in my mind, this is pretty interesting. I mean, a pretty quick analytics Friday, but at the same time, again, it's something that a lot of people kind of thought was just gone. Um, this came up in a conversation. I got to meet with the awesome team over at Rickety Roo, um, thanks to Blake. And I met with them and we were talking about multi channel attribution. And um, yeah, this one's just really hidden away. Uh, even though you can find it in universal analytics under conversion, it doesn't live under monetization in Google Analytics 4. So remember, if you're looking for this in Google Analytics 4, you are going to have to use the primary menu to get over to advertising. And you don't have to run ads to get access to this. Still just not sure why it's called advertising, but I don't make the rules. Google did not consult with me. So um, it doesn't really look like yeah, well, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and drop those in the chat. Um, also, don't forget that Marketing Merch Store is uh, up and running and you get to use the, oh, let's see. 
popping on for a bit to cheer you on. Thanks, Militia. I really appreciate you as always, girl. Um, don't forget, um, you can use uh, the promo code AF20 to get um, a discount over at Marketing Merch Store. We've got um, some new releases. We've got hoodies. I know that it's chilly outside now. Um, T-shirts, stickers, uh, and more on the way. So go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, friends, thanks so much for hanging out for another Analytics Friday. If you have any other questions about attribution, uh, like I said, please drop them in the chat. I'll get you an answer ASAP Rocky. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend. And don't forget, you're a beast. See you next week.